So I just went in for a routine endoscope. And when it came back, uh, not only having Barrett's, but then also with high dysplasia, people became concerned, <laughs> as did I. Barrett's disease, to start with, it is where the acid affects the tissue of the esophagus and causes it to change in nature. And typically when it changes in nature, uh, cancer decides it wants to have part of that and sets in as well because there's actually a cell change. The following week, I got four second opinions uh, from Beaumont, U of M, the Mayo Clinic, and then also uh, here at uh, St. Joe's. And so uh, two of them wanted to do the esophagectomy and the other two said, well, let's look into this alternative treatment they've been 90 plus percent successful with. And so that's when I got an appointment then with uh, Dr. Gunaratnam. Dr. Gunaratnam said how he has uh, you know, learned this procedure and become a pioneer and that were people uh, from all over the country, uh, maybe even all over the world were coming uh, to see him uh, about having the uh, procedure done because he knew it so well and was having such high success rates with that. So the EMR procedure, the esophageal uh, mucosal resection, is where they go in with an endoscope. It's a very short procedure, uh, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, where they go in and they actually remove parts of the, the damaged tissue. Um, and in doing so, though, they do it and it's like in ridges where they'll actually go through and they'll take like a ridge out here, a ridge out here, a ridge out here. And within 30 days, the esophagus heals itself back up. He said it looks like uh, we have all the Barrett's out and he said we will then continue every six months then to do an endoscope to go check it out. It's, it's now been four and a half years since then. Uh, well, the whole facility at St. Joe's and all the staff, and as well as Dr. G, have just been phenomenal to work with. Mm -hmm.